I recently spent six months walking around Ireland with my backpack and tent. It was a one of a kind trip. I wasn't surprised with the sense of adventure that I was able to find, but I was taken aback by how it made me feel. Because that's what happens when you explore hidden Ireland and dig a little deeper into the surroundings on our doorstep. There's so much history, heritage and folklore in every corner. And the way some of these places can make you feel is somewhat indescribable. And I'm just about to step into one of those places. Let's go take a look. I'm just on my way into a ring fort, a very hidden ring fort here in the middle of the Irish countryside in County Longford. And a ring fort also known as a fairy fort. These were once the very first type of settlement or dwelling, like back in the Iron Age. But over the years, over the centuries, folklore gathered around these until they became magical or spiritual places where the fairies would reside. And that's just one of the many reasons why there's more than 45,000 of these ring forts or fairy forts in Ireland because these places were not only respected, they were feared by the locals even up until recent times. Samuel Beckett, William Butler Yeats both believed in fairies as did the very first president of Ireland, Douglas Hyde. And if you go back hundreds of years or centuries, you would find that the locals in Ireland very much believed that the fairies were real and to come to places like this or to disturb a place like this would bring the wrong type of attention on you. And some of the stories that would be told, for example, would be that if you were to disturb a fairy fort or to come into this place and cause any sort of damage or disrupt what was going on, you might lose your job or your crops might die or someone in the family might die. So today they're kind of hidden like this one here but they're very much still the way they were, as you can see in this one. There's a very clear black moat around it. And just on the inside in here, I believe there's a, an opening, a clearance that I want to try and get in to see. This here is the middle of a fairy fort, a place which is thought to be a, a kind of a portal, a place where the veil between this world and the other world is very thin. The other world is a place where the Tuatha Dé Nán live. These, these were the people that inhabited Ireland long, long, long ago. And they were forced down into the underworld. They had to go down there into hiding and they're still here to this day. Fairy fort, a lot of people, especially in olden times, older generations, previous generations would be afraid to come to a place like this. Because the fairies are real. They're not like goblin type creatures that we maybe see them as being today. They're actually spiritual beings from the other world. I do understand why people would have feared a place like this down through the centuries. They are very distinguishable, they look very different to the rest of the forest, like a hawthorn tree. It's usually standing out alone in the middle of a field and it looks very unusual. Like these parts of the forest, they can be very lush and green and then they can be very dark in places too. And you may know that I read a lot about spirituality, in particular Celtic spirituality, 
So ring forts, fairy forts, all the folklore that surrounds a place like this, for me, it's very believable and it's real. I've no question around any of that. And what I find most interesting when you come to a place like this in Ireland, a place that has a lot of significant cultural or heritage importance, it's the way it makes you feel that really stands out. And that to me is the most undeniable sign that a place like this is not only real, but also everything that folklore tells us about them. That's it my friends, just a short video for today from the Fairy Fort here in the middle of Longford. Thank you for watching, thank you for liking this video and for leaving a comment down below about the video. I really appreciate that because that's how you can help me and my channel and also how you can see more of my videos going forward. So that's all for now, from me and the fairies, see you next time.